uh, I call this the inner ghost number conjecture. And uh, what I mean by that is um, I believe that a system of equations, some sort of system of equations that has um, proportions to them, the inner ghost numbers can give the whole magic ghost number cube just by knowing the central ghost number and thus the outer ghost number. Having these two alone can give you the primary numbers in blue and the secondary number secondary numbers in orange. And knowing these, this diagonal, you can derive all the other parts of the cube, all the other um, inner ghost numbers, and all four diagonals. And this is a conjecture. Um, I've tried a number of things to uh, derive these numbers that have in question marks. And um, I found some interesting proportions. Like um, the secondary numbers of both the bottom and the top of this diagonal added together is 200. The bottom and top of this uh, primary numbers is 100. And um, 200, it's always going to be the same in every magic ghost number cube. The secondary numbers are always going to be twice that of the primary numbers to get the outer ghost number. Um, okay, then I did the proportions of the lower secondary numbers to the higher secondary numbers at these two at these two places at this diagonal, and it comes up two point three 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 three. Then I did the proportions of the lower diagonal inner ghost number to the higher diagonal. 30 goes into 70, 2.333. And it's not always like this around even the cube. Like, for instance, um, the primary numbers 3, 2, and 20 is 25. And these primary numbers 25, 25, 25, 75. 25 goes into 75 three times. And with this diagonal facing here, going back, um, the, um, it produces this number, the lower and higher um, agreement with the primary and secondary numbers, and then so at this diagonal, and um, the, the lower end and the higher end of the primary and secondary numbers. They, they both correspond to these, at those rotations. But it's not even true of all magic ghost number cubes. Like I've tried that on this, and they have their own separate. They're consistent in themselves, the primary and secondary numbers, but they're not consistent with the other cube. They have their own special rotations. So my conjecture is that you can determine the whole rest of a magic ghost number cube by knowing the inner ghost number inner ghost numbers and the central and outer ghost numbers. And um, I know it takes a system of equations to figure this out, but uh, there's just some propor proportions to look at well, thanks a lot.